I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. Uh, I've had a few questions recently about saws, um, and I've been doing a few things with that. But one of the things that has come up is what is the difference between a rip saw and a crosscut saw? Um, and when you're first getting into uh, hand tools, that can be really kind of confusing. I mean, doesn't a saw cut wood? Uh, the honest truth is no. Uh, there are very different saws for very different purposes. Now, yes, can you rip with a crosscut and crosscut with a rip cut? Sure. But one's going to do a better work than the other. Um, and so I kind of want to go through what are some of the differences and how do they work. So let's take a closer look at that. First up, we have two different saws here. The top one is a crosscut saw and the bottom one is a rip saw. If you look at the bottom one, all of the teeth are pointing more towards the left, whereas the top one, the crosscut, the teeth are pointing straight up. The bottom one, the rip saw, uh, the teeth are flat on the leading edge, whereas the top one, all of the teeth are beveled to create a knife point. This is a, uh, better for cutting the fibers. The major difference between a rip saw and a crosscut saw is that a rip saw is basically like a bunch of chisels and a crosscut saw is basically like a bunch of knives. When you're cutting through the, the wood with the grain, a chisel is great because it just takes out what it's running into. Whereas when you're going cross grain, you actually need a knife to sever each of the, uh, each of the individual fibers. So a rip saw is basically a bunch of chisels in line so that as they go through the wood, each chisel is then is running down the uh, running down the line. Whereas a crosscut saw is a whole bunch of knives in line, and as it goes down, it has all those knives cutting the fibers. The way this is done is by how the uh, how the um, file is run across the blade. So if your blade is going this way, then with a rip saw, your uh, file will be going at 90 degrees to the blade. This then giving you a flat edge on the front of every tooth. If you're with a cross cut, it's being turned at an angle. What that angle is, uh, different people have different things. I've heard as little as 10 degrees and as much as 45 degrees. I like about 30. Uh, I think most people prefer like 15 to 20 degrees. Um, but having that at an angle to your blade. This thing gives you a point every other one on every other side. So you're cutting two lines as it goes through. Whereas with the rip, uh, everything is just in line in the same plane. Um, except for when you put the set in, some will be one side or the other. The other major difference is that the rip saw, um, all of them are aiming forward. So as you push forward through the wood, um, all of the chisels are going in line and in the same direction. So towards the front of the saw, they'll be flat, and towards the back of the saw, they'll have an angle. Whereas with a cross cut, they all have the exact same angle up and down, uh, giving you the uh, basically a knife point sticking straight up. So when you come to the uh, when you come to the blade, the major difference between a cross cut and a rip saw, um, with your rip, the file is running straight across, and then also it's rotated slightly to then give you a chisel edge going forward. So basically, if you imagine you're cutting a chisel edge in the edge of every tooth. Whereas with a cross cut, you want to create a knife, and so there's a knife blade, so you have to turn it to match the angle of the knife blade. So with a cross cut, uh, with a cross cut, you have it turned at an angle, so every other tooth is an opposite angle, so that you create a knife blade on either side. And with the rip saw, you rotate it slightly and you keep it at 90 degrees. Every single tooth is the exact same as it goes across. There you have it. That's the difference between a rip saw and a cross cut saw. Uh, I found this topic to be a little bit harder than I expected it to be, uh, mostly because it's something that you just have to get into and get used to. But uh, let me know what questions you have. I'd be glad to answer them. If you think I should make a whole other video, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll do that. Uh, if you feel uh, like you like this, please subscribe to my channel. I also have a few other videos a long ways, how do you sharpen a crosscut saw, and a few other things. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a wonderful day.